Merchant Marine is just another way of saying commercial shipping, which is the transportation of goods, services and people from one place to another. As a country with a long maritime history, Trinidad and Tobago's merchant marine sector is already quite developed, and the Ministry of Trade and Industry plans to extend it even further to make our islands a maritime hub for the Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago has been called the hub of the Americas for good reason. Our strategic location between key trade routes linking North and South America, coupled with the fact that our islands are located outside of the hurricane belt, create ideal conditions for a merchant marine industry to thrive. Our domestic commercial maritime sector initially evolved from the mainstream energy sector, where there was a need for a strong maritime presence to support offshore exploration and drilling. But the industry also experienced parallel growth thanks to an active cargo and transshipment trade in which Trinidad and Tobago became the major hub for the business among the small islands of the region. This steady track record is providing industry stakeholders with a solid foundation on which to build a globally competitive maritime hub here. The sector's expansion approach is based on five key drivers. Technology, service excellence, efficiency, innovation, and sustainability. All of which will set our maritime industry apart in its professionalism and competitiveness, especially in an environment with increased security requirements for both on and offshore maritime operations. Trinidad and Tobago has all the components that go into making a successful maritime sector. We are ideally located to take advantage of existing shipping routes which are linked to all the principal markets. We have an active merchandise trade and a modern efficient port structure. Supported by the industry's ability to offer an advanced regulatory structure, as well as competent staff that are skilled at a range of maritime services, the local merchant marine industry is well anchored. As you can see, besides the energy sector work which goes on here, a lot of the skills, the repair skills, the maintenance knowledge, the preparation knowledge transfers over to local construction, yacht repair, and further, the persons who take part in the industry are exposed to international and global operations outside of Trinidad. So they come back to Trinidad with that international outlook and that international experience benefiting our local operations. The timing could not be more ideal. Trinidad and Tobago already boasts three major cargo ports, two of which, Port of Spain and Port Lisas, are among the most developed in the region and act as major transshipment subhubs for containerized cargo. The Port of Spain port is currently undergoing further upgrades as part of the overall development of the capital city. Trinidad and Tobago has a lot to offer to the outside world. Firstly, we are the most southernmost country in the Caribbean. We are harnessing transship and cargo from South America, North America, Europe and even in the Caribbean. That is one aspect of our location here. The other aspect is, is that we have the cheapest rate in the Caribbean, which attracts a lot of investors outside. And thirdly, we have brand new equipment that has serviced our demands. Growth in the merchant marine sector is promising, having increased by more than 5% over the last few years, thanks to rapid expansion in non-energy industries. This sector is expected to increase the revenue of Merchant Marine an additional 12%. The energy sector is also quite active, a trend which is forecast to continue over the next 15 years. So Merchant Marine services are in high demand. That's true. In fact, the demand is so critical that the University of Trinidad and Tobago now has a Merchant Marine program as part of its syllabus. Well, the University of Trinidad and Tobago has decided that to help the critical shortage of maritime officers at sea and also to give careers to, to Trinidad and Tobago young people that we should start this program. The content of the program teaches them the skills and knowledge to be competent officers either as engineers or as navigators at sea. And to, to, to add to the, uh, to, to the idea that we can help this critical shortage in the world, it also means for Trinidad and Tobago 
young people that they could have a lifetime career if they so wish to see. There will always be a job for them in their lifetime. The areas in which the sector can be expanded are limitless. Our island's natural geographic location is ideally suited to the ship repair and transshipment cluster, for example. And the local industry can add further value by developing other needed services such as marine construction. The strategic plan that has been drafted to guide the long-term development of the sector, coupled with the Ministry's establishment of a Maritime Industry Development Committee to oversee the plan's implementation, has helped make the sector very attractive to investors. Some major investment incentives include tax waivers on dividends from profits derived from the manufacture of approved products, VAT exemptions on imports for capital-intensive enterprises such as merchant marine, duty-free importation of plant, machinery, equipment or raw materials for use in industrial enterprises. That's quite impressive. And set against Trinidad and Tobago's steady economic growth, strong transportation links, and the government's commitment to develop the industry, the potential of the local merchant marine sector goes way beyond the horizon. <laughs>